As Bears fans go home disappointed, let's turn the attention back to the pack on their ecstatic fans. And News 3's David Douglas rejoins us. And you've got another spot where Packer fans were hanging their hats if they didn't have a ticket here to Soldier Field, right? All kinds of fans, really, Andy. We know that both Packers and Bears fans can handle the cold, but if you didn't have a ticket to the game here, the next best place was obviously inside. And at one Chicago bar, there was a bit of a turf war going on, though it was probably about as friendly as it could get. At the corner of Michigan Avenue and 18th Street in Chicago, there's a football bar. Go Bears! Go Pack! All right, go! Woo! But there seems to be a dispute about which team's bar it is. We're actually surprised to have so many Packer fans with us, um, but uh, it could be a better place. We're only a couple blocks from the stadium. It's a great time. Do you know that you're in a Packer bar right now? No, this is a, this is a Bears bar. To know who's right, you have to know a little history deeply rooted in Green Bay. We started in the 1930s and we're just happy that we can still withhold our family tradition and we can even move it to different cities and it takes off, people enjoy it, they keep coming back. The we Nicole Steinmetz refers to is the family she's a fourth generation member of. This is their restaurant, Crolls West, just outside of Lambeau Field. All of our regular fans do know that we're originally out of Wisconsin, that I'm a big Packers fan. Just maybe not this Bears fan. Oh, this is so exciting, you cannot believe it. I'm peeing in my pants right now. Well, I hope not right now. <laughs> we did stay dry, but his happiness is why behind the bar, Nicole stays neutral in basic black with only a little bling bearing her Packer pride. It's right here. This is the 1996 uh, Super Bowl ring. It's like, it's the wives ring. Pride that brings in customers all the way from the heart of Packer country. Well, they got curls up in Green Bay, Wisconsin. And so I know it's a big Packer bar. And uh, I, want to buy, I want to be around people that love the Packers. And that ring you saw on Nicole's finger is the real deal. Her dad is on the board of directors. Now, as for the Packers fans and the Bears fans all in one spot today, Andy, one Bears fan told me, listen, we love the Bears. They love the Packers. And the only thing we both really hate are the Vikings. Touche. Good point. <laughs> now, David, the Bears and the Packers, they're both cold weather teams. So who could stand the cold better? Well, we asked that question of several people, and this is what I'm actually told is, listen, we are from Green Bay. That's where the Green Bay Packers are from, and we are definitely better prepared to handle the cold than those Bears were, and I guess it was proven today on the field. All right, News 3's David Douglas reporting. David, thank you very much.